Soulmates are people who bring out the best in you. They're not always perfect, but they're perfect for you. When the time is right, life has meaning. When the person is right, everything falls into place. Hey! Hi. <laughs> Jordan and Rakaya are best friends, a team. They know everything about each other. There are no secrets. They share the same values, trust and loyalty. They never question or doubt the strength of their relationship. They both feel 100% secure. Every day before you I was holding down If you want the stars I can pull them down Baby in my arms you'll be safe and sound I remember when I first realised that Jordan was going to be the one we were at Barossa Gourmet and Rakai was telling me all about him. She was really smitten by him. It was early days, but she was so excited. He wasn't like anyone else that she'd met. A couple of years prior to us meeting, I actually crossed paths with him at a work function. And Jordan was a fourth year accepting his highest honour. He got Apprentice of the Year. Jordan went up, little stocky little man, to go receive his award. And then he grabs his award and then he goes back to this table. And he gets a kiss from one of these office girls. A couple of years on, I'm standing at their wedding, so <laughs> here we are. It's the start of a new adventure. You're always on these adventures. You're up in Darwin. Now you've got married life. I hope you really go well at it. We're all here for a reason. It's their reason to get married. And they love each other. You can totally see that. Jordan come home one day, he said, oh, I've got to do this stormwater job for the girl in the office. Here we are, they're married. your backseat driver out first when Jordan is driving and that a solution to his driving not being up to your standards would be maybe to offer to drive once in a while. I do. <laughs> do you promise to accept that when Rakaya is hungry and tired it's an extremely bad combination. She will find anything and everything completely annoying but once fed she will undoubtedly apologise. I do. Do you promise to make an attempt at lowering the volume while watching Netflix when Jordan is trying to sleep? I do. Do you promise to make an attempt at picking up your footy shorts when you get changed in the living room rather than constantly leaving them on the floor? I do. You've come into Jordan's life, we've all accepted you, you're beautiful, and um, you already know that. <laughs> all I can say is my beautiful daughter today really shone. She's an honest, understanding friend, someone you can truly be yourself around, uh, and it's a friendship I'm blessed to have, and I'm so happy she's found love and happiness with Jordan. Oh, Dad, as a bloke, <laughs> I'd like you to meet. Brought him around, yes. He, he's a tradie, Dad. He's a nice bloke. Yeah, yeah. And he was. He likes footy, Dad. Yeah, no, that's good. Then I asked the question. Who do you barrack for? <laughs> Port bloody Adelaide. <laughs> Very proud of him for what he's achieved and the lad he is. He's a good lad. I could tell all the stories about me dragging his vomiting ass out of our neighbour's garden. But we might even see that kind of Jordan come out later. <laughs> Yeah.
great privilege that I present to you all for the very first time, the newly married couple, Mr. and Mrs. Smith. The Smiths. <laughs> I want to use this moment to tell you how beautiful you look and how special you are and I've, I've never met anyone as kind, caring and compassionate as you. I'm so very lucky to be your husband and to be able to love you and be loved by you. Rakai, you are the love of my life. You are my partner, my lover and my best friend. Watching you walk down the aisle today is everything I've ever dreamed about. You are the most stunning woman I've seen. You are my dream girl. Seeing you is a constant reminder that it was just a bad day and not a bad life. Jordan, there are many things about today that I've been unsure of, but the one thing that I'm certain of is you. You are my best friend, my number one supporter, my personal chef, and my little spoon. But most importantly, you are the love of my life. You make me happier than I thought possible, and today you become my husband. I promise to uphold my end of our unwritten rule, to continue to get each other's toothbrushes, no matter how mad we are each other. I promise to laugh with you, to grow with you, and to always put the toothpaste on your toothbrush, even when I'm mad at you. Jordan stole my joke. I promise to love you in the good times, and even more in the bad times, when life seems easy, and when it's the most difficult. I promise to always make you a priority, and to compromise. I promise to stand by you, to listen to you and pretend to know what you're talking about when you start talking about plumbing. <laughs> I promise to support you for everything you are, everything you're yet to be, as a team, as my best friend, as my wife. I promise to choose you, not just for today, but for all of my tomorrows for the rest of my life. I love you, Rakai. I love you, Jordan. I'm just trying to puzzle